Hey, welcome back to what's new. It's no secret Cleveland is home to some of the nastiest potholes. Some of them have their own zip codes, I understand. With all of the freezing and thawing that we've seen over the past month or two, it really brings out the worst in our roads, doesn't it, Bet? It does. And as we told you at the beginning of the month, we are bringing back the worst pothole contest in town. Now, the contest is not the worst in town. We're no. looking for the worst pothole in town. It might it, be both. It could be both. Contest <laughs> structured based on, around that. Based on the response so far, it's actually probably both. Uh, thank you for this time, Mike guys. Hope Jr., by the way. I just want to give you an update real quick on where we're at with this, all right? Okay. Now, we've asked you guys to send in these pothole picks, and I am here to remind you that we are still accepting entries for this year's Cleveland Pothole Awards. Last year's inaugural celebration of our city's most churlish chuckles was such a smashing success that we're taking her for another spin this year around our bodaciously bumpy boulevards. <laughs> so if you're recently peeped a particularly prodigious pothole, please take a pic and post it on our What's New Facebook page. It will then go out, I will then go out and personally inspect the top candidates before declaring this year's winners. Now the polls have been open for over a week now, probably even longer, and the response has been somewhere between lukewarm and underwhelming. And I'm gonna need to see some more participation out of you people if you really want to affect change in your community and also help this seg segment get off the ground a little bit. <laughs> Be like cherished viewer Nancy Dalton of Brook Park who sent us a pic of this bumper banger located near Tiedemann Road and bit off. Yikes, no thanks. Thanks for the heads up, Nancy. Rest assured, I'll be sending a crew out there to measure and rate that pothole very soon. And of course, by crew, I obviously mean me with an iPhone and a tape measure. <laughs> now, I'm gonna need you folks to follow Nancy's lead by telling me where I can find similar horrible hollows and ghastly gashes. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to a viewer who illustrated just how profound the Northeast Ohio pothole issue is by literally writing and illustrating a children's book about potholes. No. He was kind enough to send it here to the station and the drawings are actually quite charming. So if you are a regional book publisher looking for a very specifically themed foray into the children's lit genre, you should really <laughs> reach out to them. We have information on the What's New Facebook page. And as for the rest of you, you have just, have just a few days ahead of you to give me the locations of the most offensive potholes in town. But as a reminder, I'm not interested in seeing any dinky dips or trivial troughs. I'm only looking for those gargantuan gullies and the ruthless rim rockers. You know what I'm talking about. I want those ghastly gaps and ruts that wreck your shocks and struts. <laughs> Let's see those indecent indentations where you can feel that excavation and the gaping asphalt ditches that make you scream, oh, dot, you sons of, uh-oh. <laughs> You get Good the rest. Catch. Thanks, Good everybody. Catch. And let's see those pothole picks rolling in. Well done. Thanks. I'm very impressed. How many times did you practice that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Constantly <laughs> last night. I have, yeah. I have a question on how we do the ranking system. Got it. Are bonus points given for potholes on bridges? That's a personal, like, Totally not, fair. Not a good situation. No. In my it's, it's interesting you bring that up because last year's winner was the Irish Bend neighborhood, if right. you'll recall. It yeah. was just yes. atrocious over there. And it wasn't, they weren't the deepest and worst ones, but they were in the worst areas, including some that went under a bridge, very dark under there, mm. a lot of water gathering and stuff like that, and frankly, just a little scary. I'm talking about on the bridge oh, deck. Oh, on top, on top of the bridge yeah, deck. No, I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Always no one has sent those in, though. That is weird. Well, here's why. And I, I, so I've got a winner for you right now. Mm -hmm. It's on 480. It's by Miles Road, just before the Miles Road exit. It is, I thought I, I, thought I had to pull over because I literally thought I had a flat <laughs> uh -huh. tire. Really? But, it, but there's no way to measure it because it's too busy. Right, well, that's my problem. Send me out into traffic. <laughs> I'm gonna come and find the worst potholes and risk my life in traffic for you well, people. Well, we, 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 maybe we could like eyeball it a little bit. Yeah. Get some comparison. A little more guesswork, yeah. sure. Okay. I know my where this one is, you. so I get out of the way, but today when I go by it, I'm gonna take a picture or do something so you know exactly where it is. Please. But please be careful if you take go out there. Take a passenger to take the picture for you. There you of go. Of course, yeah, absolutely. I'll be over it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.